Have you ever sewn a Henley placket? A little worried about it? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step sewing the Breckenridge Henley placket so you can get a great finish you can be proud of. Let's get sewing. Before we begin, we need to have our front piece, our back, the neck band, a scrap of fusible interfacing. This is a Trico from Fashion Sewing Supply. I really like their interfacing. Um, and a fabric marker. I like this Madeira Magic Pen. It erases within a couple hours and it's got two different tip sizes, which is nice. Also, um, a straight edge or a small ruler will, will really help us out. So to begin with, we want to fuse our a scrap of interfacing on the wrong side of the front around the marking you made when you um, cut your pattern out. So we're gonna fuse this right here and then we're gonna go in and cut our center front slit if you haven't done that already. You could have done that when you cut it out. Uh, so we're going to be sure, maybe even use your straight edge to make sure you're straight. But the center front right down to that marking, we're going to cut into there. Alright, we've got our interfacing fused and we've got our slit cut down to the marking and now we're going to draw in our seam allowances right around the bottom of this slit. So the seam allowances with this pattern are 3 8 inch and I'm just going to draw these in using the straight edge just around the bottom. each side and the bottom of the slit. All right, we're gonna pay special attention to the corners here, because we're going to be starting and stopping our stitching on those corners, and it's really important to stop right on the corners to get a really nice finish on the front. So now we're going to clip from the bottom of the slash to each corner to open that up. So you're gonna cut right to the dot, but not through it. So you see how that opens that up, kind of like a Y shape. All right, we're gonna put this aside and work on our neck band. So with our neck band, we want to press it lengthwise with wrong sides together. And make sure, if you haven't already, make sure you put your markings on there. You have T markings at the bottom, you have triangle markings, and also you want to mark the center back with a pen. Or you can, you can do a mark too, but I'm just going to grab a pen here. Okay, now I should note that this style of neckline, it does not need buttonholes. Most Henleys you do put buttonholes on, but this is a V-neck. Henley, so buttonholes are not needed. However, if you prefer the look of buttonholes, you can certainly do that. I would suggest um, putting fusing interfacing between the bottom and the triangle markings. Um, on the side, you're gonna sew the buttonholes. So the next step we wanna do is sew the shoulder seams of the front and back pieces right sides together. Before I do that, I'm gonna put a pin in my center back, since it's already folded here from when I cut it. So I know where that is. So I'm just going to sew my, sew or serge, either way, the shoulder seams, right sides together. Okay, we're ready to sew our band on, but before we do that, I want to make sure I can see my markings. I made the markings initially on the wrong side, so I'm just going to take my fabric marker and transfer them to the right. This is kind of a dark, busy fabric, so you have to pay attention. And of course, the most important thing are these corners, which is where the bottom of the Y, or the two legs of the Y, would be. That's where we're going to start and stop our stitching, so it's super important. All right, now we're gonna take our neck band 
and we're going to align it to the neckline, matching up the raw edges. So we marked our center back with a pen on both pieces, and we're just going to match those up first thing. All right, we have lined our neckband up, matching markings, and you'll notice that between the triangle marking and the ends of the binding, you're not stretching the neckband at all. It's sewn one-to-one. -one. However, once you get above the triangles and around the back neckline, you do stretch the neckband to fit. So now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine, and I'm going to start at that corner dot at the end of the Y. And we're going to use our 318 allowance, and I'm going to start on one end and go all the way around and stop me exactly on that dot on the other end. All right, we've got the neckband straight stitched on, and you can see how I started and stopped right at that corner of the Y. Now I'm going to take this to my serger, and I'm going to finish these raw edges. And because we clipped into the bottom of that slash, I'll be able to do the ends of the binding as well. All right, we have finished our right edges of the binding, and now I'm going to flip it to the wrong side. And bring our binding so we can see it. Bring the ends out, and that little triangle piece there, we're going to make sure that's visible. We're gonna give us a good press. Press the seam allowances out. All right, we've given our seam allowances a good press from the wrong side. Now here is where we get that clean finish on the placket. You're gonna overlap your placket pieces and think about what side, if you care, what side you want to be on top from the front as you're wearing it. Normally in women's clothes, the buttons, like the exposed part of the placket is on the left. So you would do the opposite from the wrong side. So we'll put the this side over and this. It honestly, it doesn't matter. It's just what you see in ready to wear clothes. So there we go. We have this stacked neatly on top of each other. And now I'm going to fold the bottom of these neckband pieces up and expose this little triangle here. This is the triangle that we cut at the beginning. We're going to pull this up. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to straight stitch across from the dots we made, the corners. Just a straight stitch from one corner to the other. All right, we've done our straight stitch straight across both ends of the band and the triangle piece. And we now have our pocket sewn. You get everything a nice press. And now we can top stitch around the neck band. So if you prefer, you can do, um, you can extend the line of stitching to the bottom and encase those, and those ends. And if you do that, you can also do it with a barn door or a cross, or an X stitch at the end as well. So I'm just gonna take this over to my sewing machine and do a nice top stitch around the band. All right, there we have it. Our placket is now done. The next thing you can do is sew your sleeves and your side seams and hem, and then you come back and you can sew on your buttons. Now to sew on your buttons, you're just uh, putting your buttons on. I sew them on with my machine because it's the easiest way, and my machine gives a nice finish. Uh, but you can hand sew them. Uh, you're sewing your buttons on through both neck and layers. So there you go. I hope that helped you and I hope that gives you the confidence to sew your next Henley pocket.